Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest update, Asteria Aerospace has secured an order of 40 plus UAVs from Indian Army. While the company offers variety of UAVs, the one which Army is going to procure is most likely the Cygnus A10 UAV debuted in UAV India 2013 conference as well as Defense Expo 2014 and Aero India 2015. CRPF has also procured 40 A410 UAV for Maoist operation which is manufactured by the same company. One UAV A410 is expected to cost between Rs 12 to 14 lakh. Today we will be discussing in detail about the features of Cygnus A10. The Cygnus A10 unmanned aerial system is designed by Asteria Aerospace, a company based in India for use by military, paramilitary, commercial and industrial operators. The UAS consists of an unmanned aerial vehicle and a ground control station. The UAV can perform missions including intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, border security, battlefield damage assessment, traffic monitoring, VIP security, convoy protection, event security, disaster management, power lines and oil gas pipeline monitoring as well as natural resource management, aerial mapping and crowd and riot control. The Cygnus A10 UA features small lightweight fixed wing model design. Its airframe is constructed using hybrid composite materials or metals. The inbuilt safety features incorporated in the UAV enable safe operations in the event of loss of communication and loss of navigation sensors as well as in low battery conditions. The UAV is runway independent and is operable under all weather conditions. It can be launched and recovered on varying terrain conditions. It is capable of performing full autonomous takeoff, navigation and landing using ATOM autopilot system developed by Asteria. A small lightweight ROHS compliant autopilot features on the drone. It is also equipped with an intelligent landing system, health monitoring and onboard data recording. The UAS has a wingspan of 1.6 meter, weighs 3.8 kg. It can be transported and stored in rugged pelican cases or in backpackable cases. The Cygnus A10 UAV is equipped with gimbal stabilized high definition video camera for capturing high resolution aerial imagery and video in real time during day light conditions. A gimbal stabilized thermal camera is fitted to support operations during low light or night conditions. Other payloads can also be carried by the drone including still cameras, acoustic sensors, atmospheric monitoring sensors and radiation sensors. The UAV and its payloads are controlled by Astria's ground segment comprising a rugged tough book computer and a cross-platform graphical user interface. Command and control solutions are generated using the software interface which runs on Windows and Linux operating system. An encrypted digital radio link transmits command and control signals to the aerial system and downlinks real-time imagery, video and telemetry data from the drone for processing by the computer in the ground control station. The Cygnus A10 US is a cube with brushless electric motor powered by rechargeable batteries. The drone has a cruising speed of 50 km per hour and a maximum speed of 80 km per hour. It can conduct missions up to a radio line of sight range of 15 km and can stay in air for approximately 90 minutes when driven by a single battery. Its operational altitude is between 300 meters and 1000 meter above the ground and ceiling altitude is 3000 meter above mean sea level. In December 2019, Reliance Industries has acquired 51.78% stake in Asteria Aerospace for Rs 23.12 crore. It is clear from this investment and the recent order that Reliance is also entering into the defense industries of UAV after Adani. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. 
Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.